Local news right here at 6 as Southeast Louisville sees new housing and retail developments. It leaves the big question, who will respond to future emergencies in that area with the growth? Right now, Fern Creek is the nearest staff department to take action, but their main location is not as close as they want it to be. But starting next summer, that's going to change. Jose Alonzo and photojournalist Jessica Farley tell us why the expanding area needs more protection. The Fern Creek Fire Department serves a large part of Southwest Louisville, but as the community continues to grow, so does the need for emergency services. The big green spot right here is McNeely Lake. Metro Councilman Jeff Hudson represents part of southeastern Jefferson County. He pointed out every post-it note on this map represents an approved housing development along with how many units are being built. We want to make sure that we're putting the infrastructure in place so that we're minimizing negative impact on traffic, minimizing impact on, on safety. Part of that safety plan is renovating Fern Creek's annex building in Highview. It was originally designed for volunteer firefighters, but will soon host a 24-7 fire and EMS staff. This open air space is gonna have a seven bedroom um, living space added. So it'll be seven bedrooms, new restrooms, um, facilities. It'll have a weight room. The area south of the Gene Snyder is also seeing new suburban developments being constructed. Every bit of this, the Heritage Creek, City of Heritage Creek, all of this was all farmland. There was a big farmhouse set over here. The park was about the only thing out here. The changing landscape is adding more families to the district, which means more people in need of first responders nearby. And it's exciting. You know, we've been able to do all of this without any changes to our taxes, without any changes to the community or out anything added to the residents, um, which is a huge blessing. The redevelopment of this campus will ensure first responders won't take long to respond to future emergencies. In Louisville, Jose Alonso, WHAS 11, on your side. Well, that expansion project is expected to be finished by July 1st of next year.